the right, keep to the right, keep to the right. Slow down, brake, 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 stay more, stay more, stay more. Hey guys, welcome to another driving lesson. So this is Tazzy's 10th lesson here. Okay, so she's had one hour lessons. She's been using the ultimate driving course and we've been recording every lesson. So if you haven't seen her previous lessons, please watch how she's gone from her first lesson and progressed in the last what, nine lessons. And um, today we're going to continue with um, dual carriages. Yeah, that's what we did last lesson, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how did dual carriages go last lesson? They were okay. We spent about what, half a lesson, yeah. half a lesson on them, yeah. And um, yeah, um, how much help was it giving you? A lot. Yeah, I was talking yeah. to him quite a bit, yeah. And how do you feel about driving on dual carriageways? I feel like a bit better, but it's still quite scary because obviously you have to go at high speeds. Yeah, but we can try. And so, um, you know, when we finished the last lesson, um, you know, with the ultimate driving course, I asked you to watch the videos. Um, on changing lanes as well on the dual carriageways, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, did you watch that? Yeah. So, what did you learn about changing lanes? I learned that, like, obviously the the routine that you have to do is your mirrors, your left, your centre and your right mirror. Yeah. So we're in the left lane, aren't we? Moving yeah. over, yeah. Okay. Um, signal. Yeah. And then before you actually move, you have to look and assess at the same time that you can't just look and go. That's it. Good. Yeah, that assess part's really important mm -hmm. because what people do they they, they check their mirrors and they just rush over, yeah? So you know when you check those mirrors, yeah? And you do see a car in the right, yeah? It's not always you see a car in the right lane and, and you're not going, yeah? You need to assess. What kind of set, uh, stuff do you need to assess before you make that decision to go over? What speed they're going at. I see the speed and how far they are. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, um, again, that is quite a difficult skill, yeah? Okay, if you're not sure, what are you going to do? Ask. Yeah, ask and don't change your lanes. Yeah. Okay, because that's one of the... Um, worst thing you can do in driving, yeah. You're in your lane, you haven't assessed properly and just moved over, yeah. Mm -hmm. What could happen? Crash. Exactly, yeah. So, we'll work more on dual carriageways, yeah. So, you know, when we um, start off, would you like me to help you out, um, talk you fully through it or ask you more questions, especially about your mirrors? You know, your mirrors in general as well, yeah. You know, because you're at that stage now where you can kind of handle the car, yeah. We saw last lesson you did pretty well, yeah. Um, you know, mirrors, obviously, you've been checking them, yeah, like with a lot of learners. In the, you know, in the first stage you're driving, you're looking in your mirrors, but the assessment about what's actually happening and assessing the situation around you, that, that comes in when you're a lot more comfortable with the car, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think you you reckon you can start assessing more and working exactly what's happening now as well? I think so. Yeah? You can try it. So with that, I, the way I can help you with that is by asking you what's behind us, how far they are, especially when we change your lanes and we're on the dual carriageway, yeah. yeah? So I'll, I'll question you on that quite a bit, yeah. And dual carriageways? Would you like me to fully talk you through staying in your lane or shall I just question you on it? You can question me. Cool, we'll see and how it goes. We'll see how it goes from yeah. there. Obviously if you need more help then I can then, then I can come in. Yeah. So we're gonna kinda of share the responsibility then on dual carriage yeah? Mm -hmm. And the lane changes. And um everything else, like your junctions, crossroads, turning right at lights, which you need a bit of help with, but then you kind of started doing yourself last lesson. Yeah. Would you still need any help on anything else or? Um, I think I might try it okay. to see how I'm cool. going and then if obviously I mess up, then you can help. That's fine. So you want to take full responsibility of the other stuff, yeah? And obviously if there's something that you haven't noticed, then, then I'm all coming, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the other thing um, that, well, let's say you start off here, but I think um, we should do a bit of work on our clutch control as well. Mm -hmm. You know, hills. Yeah. Because... Um, that's we haven't really worked on too many steeples. We have done like one or two. Remember when uh, on I think it was your sixth, fifth or sixth lesson when the road was closed. Yeah. And we had to go onto that route where there was loads of steep hills. Yeah. Obviously, I talk you through everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then um, I did um, call you and ask you to watch that lesson on the the hills as well. Yeah. yeah. So what we'll do is uh, we'll start off with dual carriageways. Then we'll go to an area where there's some hills as well and, and deal with them. Yeah. So by the end of the lesson, you should be more confident on dual carriageways, yeah, and get more gain more knowledge, and also uh, be able to deal or understand how to approach 
um, junctions on steep hills, yeah, and mm -hmm. do hills in general. In general, I'll question you on the on the hills and check if you, you check if you watch the video uh, by asking the questions when we get to okay. uh, get to the place where we're going to do the hills, yeah. Yep. Okay. Right. So the weather today. It's raining. It's raining. Have you ever driven in the rain before? No. So what's it? Or how does that affect us? I can't really see clearly out the windows. Yeah, obviously that as and well. And obviously when you're driving, you have to be more cautious of when you brake and that. Why? Really speeding. Because it's going to take longer for you to brake, but then like when you're going faster, you can skid as well. Brilliant. Good. Yeah, so we need to stop braking a bit sooner, yeah. Okay, a falling distance when you're falling other vehicles, especially on the dual carriageways. Normally, in dry weather, what, what, how many seconds do we keep from that? Two. Two. How about in the wet weather, though? Four. Good. Yeah. Remember how to make that out? Um, so like say if there's like a lamppost or like a stationary object, Good. you'll, um, when they pass it, count four seconds. If you get there before those four seconds, then you're too close. Really Good. I'm glad you remember that. Yeah, you know with any of the stuff, if you think oh, I've kind of forgotten a bit, just recap on the video. Yeah, yeah I think that following this noise, it's like a, just a three, four minute video. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. But um, yeah, that's fine. So if you switch on the engine for me, let's go through um, using the wipers. If you know how to use the wipers and that. So the wiper lever is there on the right hand side. Yeah. So if you lift it up, just gently. That's it. So that, that puts the wipers on auto. So if it starts raining more, they'll just come on automatically. Yeah. Okay. If you lift it up once more, that's on manually. Uh -oh. At a slow steady speed and once more that's a fast speed yeah. okay. do you think we need one at this fast speed no. let's push it down and push it down once more so it's on the auto yeah okay so basically it comes on itself um you know the the end of the leaf yeah if you twist it forward yeah so that puts on the back wiper okay right. you can leave it on for now Okay, um, so you ready? Yeah, and before we get started, guys, don't forget to give Taz a follow on uh, Instagram, Instagram mainly at the moment, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, okay, and I'll, again, like always, I'll put the, uh, your what, what you call it? username, username yeah, <laughs> on, this, on the screen there, yeah, okay, please give her a follow and make sure you're operating stuff on there, yeah, yeah. okay, because if your channel's not or your page is not interesting, people, <laughs> yeah, okay, ready? Okay. Let's get moving then when you're ready. How much space you can leave from the vehicle in front? About a car length. So that I can see their tyres and obviously. Yeah, that's it. And how much time? We can see quite a bit of tarmac there, yeah. yeah. Okay. So you can go forward a tiny bit. Is anyone behind you? Is anyone behind you? 
behind you. Hold in. Assess what's going on around you. Mm -hmm. you think of the gap. So why is it not good to leave too much gap either? Because um, you're going to slow the vehicles down behind you. That's a lot of the traffic. Should you stay to the left, uh, to the right then? So I was going to press the curb. Why do you think that happened? Because I was looking at my mirrors. So, so remember when we checking your mirrors, how are you supposed to check them? Quickly. Yeah, quick, regular glances, yeah. Obviously if you just have one quick look, you know, we have to test. So come on, let's get those quick, regular glances. That's it, look ahead. Anybody behind you? Yeah. Anybody overtaking? Yeah. Okay. So now we're not going to check. 
change lanes, or if you didn't want to change lanes, what did we say? Well, you know that marked area, yeah. Okay, you shouldn't be driving it. Driving yeah. in that anyway, okay? Yeah. You're right for those marked Is that just areas. for no one at all? So basically, you should, you're supposed to keep the area clear. That's not part of the road, yeah? But if there's any reason for you, like say, if there's somebody blocking your path or whatever, yeah, you can, you can use it, yeah? As long as you're safe to do so, yeah? Okay. But there, there's no need for us to use it because the road is nice and clear. Selected gear one and then traffic started moving and you brought the clutch up on it. Wouldn't stall. It would slow right down. Okay. Slow down too much and the vehicle behind you wouldn't be expecting you to slow down that much, yeah. So good. Yeah. So good what? Okay, so don't rush for gear one too here. Okay, so you know when I should change lanes there, you see what you start doing with the speed? Slow down. Yeah. Why is it not good to slow down, do you think? Because the way I looked, you're doing it to like match their speed. Yeah, so if you, you slow down, then they can obviously slow up. And you're not going to catch up. Yeah, not about catching up, it's about obviously the safest way to get into that lane. You know if you slow down too much, yeah? You know the car's in the right hand lane. Okay, they, there's no way you're going to feed into a gap because yeah. they're all going to be coming too fast. So if you maintain that speed, you apply the signal, maintain that speed, there's more chance of somebody giving you a gap to go into there. Yeah? Mm -hmm. If you slow down, yeah. nobody's going to, like, it's very rare people start braking to let you on. You're going to disrupt the flow of the traffic as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. 
you always look out for the signs so you know what the speed limit is. Yeah. Everything's going so far? A bit better. Yeah, obviously the more you the more you do it the better we're gonna the better you're gonna get at it, yeah. Um anything that you think could have been better? Um switching lanes. Yeah, switching lanes. We haven't really done too much of that before, yeah. Okay. Well, like we talked about earlier, um it's what it's, this is something where a lot of people do. As soon as I them to change lanes, they start slowing down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And why is it not good to slow down? Because then um, your surroundings are going to change and then you're not going to be able to keep up with the people in the right lane. Yeah. Like, if you slow down, they're going to obviously be going at a high speed so there's not going to be a gap for you to get into. Yeah. Obviously, if there's a hazard ahead, like the lights have changed or your turn's coming up, yeah. And you're, not, you're still not getting away, even though you're maintaining that speed, then you will have to slow down. Mm -hmm. Okay. And say in a situation, a lot of people ask, what if I can't go over? Yeah. What if it's not safe to move over, then what should you do? Yeah, just cancel your signal and just continue straight ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we'll just um, just reboot really. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, clutch control. So you watched a couple of videos on uh, hills and clutch control. Yeah. So what is clutch control? Controlling the car with the clutch. Yeah, controlling the car with the clutch. Yeah. Okay. So holding on a hill like this, with, um, uh, you saw in the video, yeah, in yeah. the driving course, how I held the car with that biting point, yeah, mm -hmm. on the hill. So that's what we're going to practice doing here. Then we get to the end of a road. See, this is on a slope now, yeah. So you're on a, um, when you're on an uphill gradient, yeah. As you're approaching the end, yeah. What's the slope going to do to the speed of your car? Slow it down. It's going to slow it down. So when we approach, are we going to need more braking, less braking? Yes. Good, less braking. Yeah. And normally, which gear do we get when we get to the end? We only get one. Yeah. We're still going to get gear one, yeah. But this time, instead of keeping the clutch fully down, yeah. What are we going to do with the clutch? Yeah, to that biking where you use clutch control, yeah. And obviously if it's not clear, then we can use the foot brake and the handbrake if you need to as well, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, but we're going to approach there, ready to go, yeah, using the clutch control. A lot of people, you know, when they get to the end, whenever they see how they just rush for the handbrake. Yeah. Yeah, it's not on it, like some people tell me that the instructors have said to them, whenever you're in help, always use the handbrake. Yeah. No. Yeah, we're going to practice being good with that, with that clutch control, yeah. And only use the handbrake if you have to wait, just like we normally would. Okay, so um, we'll practice that, 
and also the other thing um, that I mentioned in one of the videos um, changing gears on hills yeah so say um, you're you're going on a uphill road yeah and you're changing from gear one two to three yeah what's the difference yeah. in, uh, than changing on a normal flat surface do you have to change it later good we have to change our gears a bit later why because um, obviously if you're on a hill when you take your foot off the accelerator the car's going to slow down like when you're changing gear the car yeah. will have dropped a few miles yeah, yeah. Good. And so, obviously, when you come off, like you said, when you come off the gas to change that gear on a flat surface, you know, it doesn't really make yeah. much difference to your speed, yeah. But the, on uphill gradient, that gradient's going to slow your car down, yeah. And so, that speed, so say, you know, normally when we go from gear one to two, yeah, what, what kind of speed do we normally change at? Um, around 10. Yeah, around 10, yeah. Okay. So, say you're on a slope now, you get to 10 miles an hour, you take your foot off the gas. To change into gear two, yeah, okay. Would that ten miles an hour stay at ten miles an hour? No, it's gonna drop down. Yeah, it will drop, yeah, okay. And that speed won't be enough for the second gear, yeah. And then you could end up stalling. Mm -hmm. So instead of changing at ten miles an hour, yeah, we're gonna add about five miles an hour to it, or get to three thousand revs, yeah, okay. okay? So um, by the time you've taken your foot off the gas and change your gear, it will still be around ten miles an hour, yeah. Mm -hmm. You understand that, yeah? Yeah. Good. Right, let's uh, start the engine for me. Let's practice some clutch control. Okay, so select gear one for me. And straighten your wheel for me, please. So we're going to do it here now, yeah. Okay. So you know with the surroundings, yeah. I've got that. I'll make sure it's safe, yeah. Okay. So don't worry about rolling back into anything. Yeah. Make sure it's 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 um, safe and it's clear. Yeah. Okay. I want you to just try and get that biting point. Yeah. So the car is still here. Yeah. It's not going forward. It's not rolling rolling back. Yeah. So you know when you put the handbrake down now, your clutch is fully down. Yeah. Yeah. What's gonna happen to the car? It's gonna roll back. Yeah. So as soon as it starts to roll back, yeah. What I want you to do is get that biting point. Try and uh, control the car with the clutch. Yeah. Okay. Keep your foot over the gas, please. That's it. Don't want you to use a foot brake at all. Yeah. Okay. Ready? So I'll put the handbrake down for me. And now get the biting point. That's too high. Dip it down a bit. That's too low. Put it all the way down again. Get it again. So what you're gonna do is going forward. Good. That's it. Okay, let's put it down again, fully down. And get it again for me. Let's get it a little bit quicker. That's too high now. So what are you gonna do? So you don't want to go forward like this either. I want you to hold it still. So, when you do, so if it's going forward like that, I want you to react a little bit quicker. Put it down, put it down. Okay, get it again now, go, get the bite. And put it down a tiny bit. Down a tiny fraction, good. Up a tiny fraction. That's it. See, in, in any car you drive, you've got to be good at uh, getting the bite, point like that, yeah. Okay, so let's try it one more time, yeah. Put it all the way fully down. All the way down. Now get it yourself, go. That's what we're going to, you know, you know when we get to the end of the road, yeah? That's that point that I want you to hold the car at, yeah? Okay? Ready? So we're going to move off now, yeah? So to move off, on a hill, keep that cl clutch where it is, yeah? And which pedal are you going to press to go? And then, you know when you bring the clutch up, don't rush off it, okay? Bring it up in uh, really s slow steps, yeah? Okay, ready? Remember your checks? Steer more now, steer more. Okay, back this way. So I forgot our checks there, yeah? Keep going, a bit more gas, more gas, come on, faster. End of the road, we're turning right. So I'll talk you through this clutch control now. Keep going, yeah, keep going. Don't brake, don't brake. Off the gas now, clutch fully down. Now bring it up to the bike, don't brake. Go down a bit, down a bit, down, down, down. Up a bit. Okay, check this side. Let's go. See there, I wanted you to, want you to hold it there, like you know how we did it. Just, just did it, yeah, when we were parked up. That was a little bit rushed there. Too high. Yeah. Now we've got another steep one coming up here. Okay, so end of the road will be chaining right here. Thank you. 
low braking, clutch fully down, select gear one, so the hill slowing that car, the car down there. Now focus on that bite, look ahead, yeah. That's it, down to touch, down to touch. Good. Check the right and left, is it safe? Yeah, yeah. gently accelerate now. That's it, good. That's brilliant what you're doing with the clutch there. So you didn't rush off it. Excellent. Now which gear now? Which mirrors? Okay, what's the hazard ahead then? So we're going to turn right at the end, yeah? So if a car's turning you, we will have to stop, yeah? yeah. Drive around him. Yeah, carry on. Good. So here we're going to keep the clutch down. See, this is downhill. Yeah, there's no way your car's gonna roll back or stall here, yeah. Well, unless you rush off the clutch. Where else are you gonna look? So that car's signaling, yeah. Is he slowing down for the team? No. That's it, he's now. Good. See, when they're coming fast like that, yeah. Then they could have the. That's it, good. Lined up perfectly. Well then, good observations. Keep it slow, you can get through, yeah. Well then. That's good awareness though, yeah. Okay. You notice the oncoming car and you were thinking about what the gap's like if you have to stop.
How come you can't do leather all the time? <laughs> I haven't actually thought so hard about doing that. But I need to know every time. That's what you're gonna you have to think of. It ain't gonna come naturally just yet, no. yeah, okay? Right, so you know these um Popel uh, T junctions. Reckon you could drive yourself uh, with that clutch control. With, with the clutch control. Yeah. Turning right here now. You're right yourself? Take a give me a go test. Clutch down, select gear one. Brake for me now, brake, brake, brake. Okay, get the boy team point now. Get the boy. Only they're off the brake now. Now use that clutch control. Hold it. Good. Okay, talk about the left gear for me, please. Can switch off the engine. We've only switched on the engine, so um, you can hear this, hear this a bit better in the in the cameras. Okay, right. So this turn here now, maybe I should have pulled you up, yeah, just to pass on a bit more responsibility there, yeah. Okay. So I do actually like um, you're on try it yourself, and you like you're still thinking about it in the turn to come here. I was expecting, yeah, I'll give it a go. <laughs> well, what do you think? I actually, I, I tried to give you a bit more responsibility. How did the the previous turn go? Because the right turn went well. Yeah, yeah, not just that right in the one that we did on the hill. How did that one go? Good. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, so if it's going good, should I keep helping you on it? No. No? And what, if it's going good, what should you try and do? Do it independently. Yeah, do it independently. If you, obviously, if you mess up, then I can come in like there. I came in and, and help you out a bit, yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. Because you're trying to move, um, use that clutch control in which gear? Three. Yeah, which is the only gear you can use that clutch control in. One. Yeah. What would have happened there? Do you know? Does it make your car speed up? No. Stalled. Yeah, definitely it would have stalled there, yeah. Okay, and with another vehicle behind us, we've got to roll back, we held him up, yeah, caused, uh, caused extra risk to them. Mm -hmm. So, um, we've got to, like that one there coming up now, that's a lot steeper, yeah, like, than this one there. You know, obviously, we've done that, you've done that before with my help, yeah, yeah. Okay, you want to try it yourself? I'll give it a go. Good, that's what I like to hear. <laughs> Ready? Yeah.
Go more forward, please. Well done for noticing the keep clear sign, yeah. That's the stop, yeah, good. But, you know, just pass the keep clear sign, look. There's no space for our vehicle, yeah. And again, what's the risk of stopping too far back? Um, the model be confused about what you're doing, and then like. Yeah, they could try and all take yeah. here. But you could take a thing too, yeah. Yeah, that as well, but the main thing is like there's space ahead, so the vehicle will be the only thing you want to stop too far yeah. back, yeah. Plus we're holding for the traffic, if there's space ahead, we should use it. Okay, so what kind of road is this now that we're going on to now? Two car drive. We'll be on the lane changing and mirror assessment as well, yeah. Any point of going forward back there? Yeah, see, as we approach him, could, could the lights change as well? Yeah. Yeah. So I'll just assess the situation and then get the gear accordingly. Yeah. Run which mirrors? Run the cyclist, that's it, good. Lorry was in the middle, there wasn't enough space at all, yeah. So remember in the videos, how do you how do you assess if there's enough space in the middle or not? Like when to go, if there's another car there. Yeah, so you know when you have to wait in the middle, yeah, and there's another vehicle in front of you. How do you know if there's enough space behind that vehicle or not? Wouldn't it be to see like whether you're blocking the cars or going behind you with the lines? Uh, no, not from not from that side. So see this white solid line? Oh, you can't block the pedestrian yeah, light or one kind yeah. So always think, if you go behind the other car, yeah, is the back of your vehicle going past this solid white line, the stop line, or that crossing? If you're not, then obviously there's not enough space, yeah? Okay, so let's say you can get your positioning on this uh, crossroad now, yeah? When 
only stop here. Where should I touch me? Okay. Can you see much? Mm. Can you go any more forward, you reckon? Mm. Without blocking the path of the cars in that middle lane? To be honest, you can maybe go a tiny bit more, but it's not going to make much difference to your view. We can't see here, okay? So go for the tiny fraction, yeah. That's it. Now again, lean forward as much as you can, yeah, to get the best view possible, but still, can we see fully down the road? So the lights are turned red now, so edge forward slowly. That's it. Good, to make sure no one jump in the lights. Good. So 
see how there we use the middle lane and we end up in that right hand lane, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. See why well, it's easier to stick to the left on the slot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but there is all that's obviously because we're practicing lane, lane changing, yeah. Okay. How did you find that when I when you know, when you had to change lanes? Uh, a bit harder, I gone from the right to the left. Obviously the cars behind you come faster as well. See, as soon as I said to you we're going to go to the left lane, the car started to come over a bit. Did we really assess what's happening? No. And also, remember when that, when that car there, uh, the, the red car, yeah. they came to your lane. Remember uh, that red car when they were getting that position? And they were too far forward of it, weren't they? Yeah. Okay, that's what we were making on the crossroads, yeah. That's why, remember, we didn't go too far forward, we had a good position. Because they went too far forward, they got quite close to the shed. So what did you decide to do? Go to the left yeah. side. Well you can't go too much either. What was there? And there was a car coming behind us. Well then, good. What could these vehicles do? Ease off the gas now. Ease off the gas. Brake a little bit. Steer to the right a bit. That's it. And continue now. See, as soon as I said, what could those vehicles do? What did that vehicle do? Come to our That's it. What could happen to these lights now? So you know as soon as you move off now. So build up our speed, yeah? Is it? Is anybody behind you? Yeah. Tell them that you want to go into the right hand lane. Is it safe to go over? Yeah. Remember not to slow down too much. That's it. Good. Now we're turning right at these lights. So that's what I look at. Yeah. So look at the markings. It's a bit hard to see on there in the in these weather conditions. Mm -hmm. See that right arrow, yeah? Good. Again, where do we stop? Do you think what you think of about a stopping position? Um, this car's done the same as well, really. Go too far forward. Too far back. Oh. Yes, yeah, so go forward a little bit. No, to move forward. Oh. Okay, now lights are greener, so where are you gonna position? Tuning just here next to this, next to that new car, yeah.
Okay, right. So these lift hands, yeah, <laughs> especially on the tight narrow roads, are causing us problems. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What do you think you're not doing? Slowing down. Okay, you're not slowing down enough. And then once you do select the gear, what should you do with the clutch? Go go up straight away. Yeah. And then you know when you bring that clutch up, yeah, you know for these turns, where do I teach you to have your right foot? Cover the brake. Yeah. And even press if you think, damn, this is really narrow. Yeah. That's so you got to assess it and then brake more if you need to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what I'll do? Well, we've got another five minutes. We're gonna come back to this turn, yeah. Hopefully we can finish it off. Good. Do you want my help with it? Or yeah. do you think you can you can do it nice and slow? What kind of speed? Well you know what I say we have to slow down, yeah? Right. A couple of car lengths before the turn, what kind of speed should you be at? About twelve. Yeah, twelve to fifteen miles an hour, yeah. Okay. And that's when you should get your gear as well, yeah. Okay. Um, so we'll try that again. But well, on this road here now, yeah. Uh, we're gonna go to the dual carriage, right? It's going uh, an uphill turn, yeah, as well. Which should be good practice, which is what we've, what we've just done as well, yeah. Okay, and then we'll finish off with the left here. Okay. Ready? So we're doing it on the dual carriage right here? Yeah, well, we're gonna turn left here, yeah, and then I'll, I'll tell you which way to go. Because we didn't want to finish off the lesson on a turn like that, did we? See that sign there as well? Yeah. With the white arrow with the blue background one way. So we're going left here, yeah. So where should you stop? On the white lines there. Yeah. And how do you know you're at the white lines? It's coming in on my on the right. Good. Are you safe? Could switch off the engine for me now. Right. So how do you think this uh, left hand went? Okay, I just had to remember who went the right way. That's it. Who did have right away? We did because we were because we were. It. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, we were on we were on which side of the road? The left. That's it. Remember, they went to cut across our path. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we've got right here. 
And what are the risks? Like some people do give way to be nice and that, yeah. But what are the risks in like stopping for that car there? Do you know? Oh, you slowing down the people behind you as well. Yeah, so you know they wanted to turn. That's it. You know the traffic behind you. Would they be expecting you to slow down? No. So you, your... yeah, you're turning left. Yeah, they could be expecting you to just take your turn. If you suddenly stop, what could happen? Then they might not realise that you're going to stop. Yeah. So no. they're going to have to quickly try and do it as well. Yeah, and they could even hit the back of you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So where is your priori priority and it's safe? Just continue. Okay. Okay. Right. So how do you think the lesson went? All right. All right. So let's let's talk about uh, let's talk about main. Uh, main goals for this year, okay. I know you just said it was, it was like that, yeah. yeah. What's okay? So, let's talk about So, you're saying what was why was it just like that? Um, my left hands weren't going as I usually do, yeah. Maybe you can sort them out uh, next lesson yeah. if you want to practice on, m more on those, yeah. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Um, so we're talking about things that you think could be better, changing lanes quicker. Mm, changing lanes quicker, so obviously have you... not slowing down when we do it. Yes, on the last couple of lane chains, yeah, especially the, the one we did from the left to the right, not the one from the right to the left, yeah, I get the one we did from the left to the right, yeah. Was that a good, did you keep a, a good speed there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we wanted to work on dual carriageways, lane changing, and hills as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, junctions on hills. And how do you think all that was, because that, was that was our goal of the lesson? Yeah. How do you think, do you think we achieved that? Do you think you, you're you more confident on dual carriageways? Yeah. Yeah, do you think you, you know how to do with junctions and use clutch control on them? I feel a little bit more confident doing it. That's it, good. Yeah. And obviously with more practice, it's just going to get better. Yeah. But today I really wanted you to get the hang of it, yeah. And the clutch control, definitely, that was really good. People like struggle a lot with that. I'm sure people that are watching the video as well, yeah. Take some while to get used to that clutch control and deal with, deal with hills, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, yeah, lane changing, we'll do some more, especially going from that right to the left yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay so see that's a quite a high risk situation as well yeah. especially when that car was in our way but that's why you've got to be very like strict with your checks before you even even go a tiny bit into the other lane yeah yeah okay because if, if you're not what could happen you could hit them yeah okay and this like i said it's really high risk yeah. yeah okay but overall another good lesson so for 10 hours you're doing you're doing really well yeah like a lot of people say uh how many lessons is it going to take here yeah. it's like you've progressed well to the um like for for 10 hours yeah mm -hmm. but some people who to get to this stage have taken a few more 15 16 hours and for some who've done it maybe in seven or eight yeah, yeah? but you're doing you're doing really well okay mm -hmm. any questions um no okay so next lesson what do you think we should um Go on to the next lesson. It's your 11th hour. I don't know. Yeah, how do you feel? Obviously, dual carriages, I think we should continue with that. Yes, yeah, still, yeah. yeah. Okay. If we can practice those left and right turns mm -hmm. to start over if you want. Yeah, we can discuss that at the start of the next lesson. And um, the next thing, really, what I like to uh, go on to is roundabouts. So, we'll see how you feel. Yeah, watch the videos. Okay, you know, in the, um, on the Ultimate Driving Course, there's quite a few videos on roundabouts yeah yeah just watch the first three first on three. left turn straight ahead right turns oh sorry it's the first four the first one it just explains the roundabouts then there's left turn straight ahead and right turns yeah mm -hmm. and then there's more complex ones don't look at them yet okay okay so um yeah watch those videos and if you feel okay with it um we we may do some roundabouts next lesson yeah mm -hmm. okay yep. sorted Thanks a lot again and um, guys, like always, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.